What's up, everyone? Today we're going to be covering the EU finalist Sharni or username Sharni's deck for Lugia V Star Flying Pikachu V Max, which is super cool and innovative. We got to see it run all the way through undefeated. Uh, did take some IDs to get into Top Cut, but right at the end wasn't able to squeak it out. But this deck profile is very, very cool, uh, very streamlined as well. So super consistent. We're going to take a look at not only the deck profile here in the video, but we're also going to show you some gameplay as well as the run that this deck and pilot had during during the late night number 71. So we'll hop over there for you now. So first off, as you can see, the late night number 71 EU division had a total of 133 players. So coming in at number two was this Lugia deck. And we'll take a look at what the matchup spread was for it here. So it looks like the first couple matches were Lost Box. And then we had a few Mew VMAX in here. So Mew VMAX going into a deck like this, I feel is pretty favored, but it seems as though there was no troubles had by the pilot here sharni getting this deck to go undefeated so absolutely annihilating all of the opponents that it took all the way through rounds one through six then took a couple of ids which looks like helped out get right into the top eight then in top eight facing another lugia back to back in top eight and top four uh, was able to win both of those matches Obviously, having a big lightning attacker in your deck is super helpful against Lugia V-Star. And then right at the end, uh, taking the final loss in the best of three here to a lost zone box Rayquaza. So the amazing rare Rayquaza, probably able to take down those V-Maxes if you're swinging with rope and boss and all those shenanigans to get that three prize turn out of there uh, probably is what assisted in taking the win overall but we'll hop over into the deck profile and take a closer look at what this deck had to offer all right so if we hop over and take a look at the full deck profile we'll see a thicker line of the lugia we have the four of uh, lugia v's here and we also have the three lugia v star so nothing crazy but i know a lot of players have been switching to a three two line so that's pretty good we do have the four and yes i know i have different arts here but we have four of the archaeops on here and then the two two flying pikachu v max line so we have the two v and two v maxes here as well as the one of raikou so that is able to snipe bench pokemon if there's not a mana fee in play so really good attacker there too able to hit for weakness on not only the lugias but also the flying pikachu v max is here uh really great into lost box again if they're not able to find their mana fee in time then we have the two of luminion the one of pumpkaboo able to get those stadiums out of the way and what is different about this deck is there's two path to the peak here so path obviously shutting off any rule box pokemon's abilities really great you can shut off opposing lugia v stars you can shut off all kinds of things luminion's late game and that's really good in case you have to get yourself out of a sticky situation say you put path down to block the mirror then you can go in with pumpkaboo maybe find your secondary path and then just win the game from there because the opposing lugia v star deck is not able to put a counter stadium in play or get their own pumpkaboo out so that's really good here and then we're upping the support account as well to give a little bit of consistency to the deck uh, obviously the ball search here the evo incense quick ball and altar ball all played in a four count as well uh, we do have three of marnie now i know most lugia decks are playing only two i do think that the three is very good here as well as the one of roxanne so again late game has a lot of outs here and then we have the four of research just to dig and draw and you'll notice that there is a downplay of the energy for capture energy that's a consistency energy card that one is just played as a three count which i see again a lot of the lugia list going down to only three instead of four uh, we do have two of serena for the gust and two of boss also for those non-view pokemon that you'd like to gust up maybe the manaphy in that case still standard line here for energy one v guard energy again great in the mirror 
uh, to stop your Lugia V-Star from getting knocked out with some powerful colorless energy. Maybe your opponent um, does not hit all of their powerfuls and not able to knock out your Lugia because of the V-Guard energy there, or they'll need a choice belt, something of that nature. And then we also have the one of speed lightning energy. So as it stands, this deck is pretty straightforward as far as a Lugia is concerned with the uh, the Pikachu VMAX line in here as the spicy end of what it is. And we're going to check this out on ladder and see if we can grab a game just to show you how it's actually played. All right, now what we want to do here in this game on the ladder is we want to try and get a feel for how the deck is actually played. How does it handle? And it looks like we won the coin flip, so that's really good too. We can go in and see what we get for our starting hand. Looks like a really good hand, actually. Um, we can get so many different things set up, even if we're not necessarily going to be discarding anything just yet. But we also want to check our resources to make sure that nothing crazy is prized and that we're not necessarily losing anything that we don't want to be losing. So we do have only three Archaeops in the deck, so we have to keep that in mind when we're thinking about the ratio of Archaeops and other cards when we're, uh, we're doing our searches. It looks like our powerful colorless and our V-Guard energy is here. Uh, I do see Raikou down, so it could either mean Lost Box or it could be a opposing Lugia V-Star. So uh, either way is pretty fine with me. We're gonna get rid of this research because we don't need to in a deck. And then just for some extra insurance, we will use the capture energy here and we'll go find ourselves another uh lugia i think that should be just fine to get us started here and we'll uh we'll just hit the done button see what our opponent has to respond to uh our our opening play because we've got quite a bit out here there is the aurora energy and it's really interesting to see the mirror here that you get to see from both sides going first and second on um, what is actually uh, the play so we'll see if they navigate this right it looks like their hand was pretty good uh, they do have a uh, tool jammer so all right we don't really need any of this we can kind of set up our board a little bit and go in we definitely need the research to dig and draw just a little bit more i know we could have kept both of the draw supporters i know serena's not always a draw supporter but we could have kept that in hand Let's just put down the flying Pikachu V mat or V in this case, and then we'll get our V star out and use our V star ability. Get our Archaeops down into play. Should be just fine here. Get both of those out. And we can even load up with one capture energy up top. That's enough to knock out the Raikou. And we can start to set up our flying Pikachu uh, V for a potential V Max afterwards. And we're just going to hit Tempest Dive. So the deck works really well. Uh, I haven't really had any opening hands that are just hot garbage yet. So that's pretty good. We do have Marnie in hand to disrupt them a little bit if they pop off this turn, which chances are it's Lugia. So it could definitely be doing that. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look see what our opponent has to respond to they do have the lugia v star they have one archaeops in the discard pile i don't think that they were ready to see the flying pikachu v i know from my experience when i went to orlando uh the flying pikachu v max lugia deck that i played against was pretty crazy pretty intense um and i was playing lugia so it was it was essentially a mirror but having the flying pikachu tech was really really good there now the tool jammer i don't know how i feel about this uh, obviously we're only doing 200 damage right now base we could try to swing into something after the marnie like the flying pikachu v max or the other lugia v star in the deck because we do have two more overall in the deck profile here they're able to get both of their archaeops out and they have the Radiant Charizard to start to clean up some things. Um, but that won't work if we're able to get our Flying Pikachu V-Max out. 
So let's see where they go with their energy counts, because that's going to matter. We do have to keep that in mind in a mirror. Okay, so there's one powerful colorless here, a second powerful colorless. So now 240, 260, are they going to put their third? They are not putting their third. Okay, so that is not a knockout. That's pretty good for us. So heavy committal on this energy. So let's just go ahead. Mm, the first thing I think that I want to do is just check our resources here before we hit the Marnie. So we could do this here. And do we have enough? We do have enough to set up the Raikou if we need to, even if we get rid of... We're not even getting rid of this energy. We're just going to Marnie it away. So let's do this. And we did hit the Flying Pikachu VMAX, so... That's great, and we hit for weakness, even minus 20, 140, twice is 280 for those who can't math. And we don't even have to set up anything else. We weren't able to dig into the deck to find the second V-Star for Lugia, but we did get the Ultra Ball off the prizes, so that's just as good <laughs> as getting the Lugia V-Star off the prizes. Uh, they did put Radiant Charizard up top, which I don't know if our opponent knows exactly that that can't attack, but they do have Amazing Rare Evil Tall. We do have the boss in response to get rid of that, even though they could be taking three prizes this turn, as long as they have a pivot. Now, if they're playing Bird Keeper, which it looks like they already discarded their Bird Keeper, we don't have to worry about that. So we played that a little greedy. Um, if they have double Bird Keeper, I'd be very surprised. So we'll see what is exactly happening. They're committing a lot of energy to this Charizard. Um, and then a couple of energy back here. I think they might actually swing with the Radiant Charizard, which is very unfortunate that they didn't read the cards here. Um, and they do have boss, okay. Boss seems fine, seems totally fine. Um, not exactly sure why they're going for the damaged Lugia V-Star there. I feel like um, they would save that for another time because they wasted resources, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we could very well just put up our Raikou now and boss take two more prize cards. And that's going to be quite a hit from them. All right, we'll do this here. And we can go Primal Turbo on two. And do another Primal Turbo, just the one. Hmm. Well, we can boss up this and get rid of the evil tall. Putting him down to one prize card. We can still go ahead and use the Serena in hand to get the Lugia V-Star off the bench. As long as we don't get Marnie or Roxanne to two. We still have quite a few search options for this Luminion to get us there. I think that we're really loaded up, and that's the concede from our opponent, and that's just how the deck works. If you are not playing uh, to the best of your ability with this deck, definitely go back and take a look at the profile. Uh, you can go back and check out the games on our channel here too. Um, let's flip over and talk about it a little bit. So now, obviously, you saw the power of how this Lugia Pikachu deck works. You're able to see how much output it puts into the mirror for a Lugia V-Star deck and how much pressure it can put on single prize Pokemon, especially with the addition of Raikou in here, as most Lugia V-Stars are playing. I really do like this deck. I... It was sad to see that in the EU finals, it did take second place because it is different. It's innovative. Uh, I know that there's quite a few people that are transitioning out of a regular Lugia V-Star list to something like this. And we love to see just the adaptations and you know thought process that goes into that. Obviously here in the deck profile, you're able to see how it works too. So if you liked the video or if you had any extra comments, definitely leave those down below. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to get more content here from the Shuffle Squad. 
If not, you know what? We'll see you next time when you check out our videos here. Take it easy, everyone. And this is PJ signing off for the Shuffle Squad. We're going to hit you up with all the promotional codes here after this, so stick around. The Shuffle Squad is proudly sponsored by Atlas Collectibles, the best place to buy any trading card game product online. Visit atlastcg.com and at the checkout screen, make sure to use code TSS12 to save an unbeatable 12% off your entire order. Atlas Collectibles will ship your product anywhere in the world, so make sure you're taking advantage of the 12% savings with TSS12. And if Pokemon is not your thing, don't worry. Go to atlastcg.com and see all the other amazing trading card game products they have there to offer. The Shuffle Squad has partnered with PTCGO Store to provide our community with the best access to Pokemon TCG codes. They have codes available 24 seven, instant email delivery, and you can save 5% off by using code TSS5. If you're a YouTube member or Patreon supporter, you'll have access to a special code that gets you 10% off. So what are you waiting for? Use code TSS5 today and save 5% on your next order of codes on any codes available at ptcgostore.com. Are you trying to be the best like no one ever was? Now is your time. Head on over to metify.gg and search out all our amazing Pokemon TCG coaches where you can book all sorts of training plans ranging from deck help to full season sessions with your favorite coach. What a great way to up your game. Check out metify.gg in the description below and take your game to the next level. Challenge yourself against trainers from around the world to compete for the biggest online prizing yet. Are you ready for an unbelievable tournament unlike anything else you've ever seen before? The Shuffle Squad is proud to announce our newest tournament series, The Late Night Events, with an amazing grand prize that's bound to have you excited. Players can compete via play.limitless.tcg.com's online tournament platform every Tuesday to get a chance to earn weekly prizes and every week, your placement in the tournament is tallied by points based on your best finishes to earn your rank for the late night invitational event. The series will be conducted starting February 7th of 2023 and carry all the way through to the Invitational on July 9th of 2023, where the top players will be rewarded the grand prizing. And the grand prize is a signed jersey and photo op with the entire Shuffle Squad, as well as a fully paid trip to the Pokemon World Championships in Yokohama, Japan. This includes hotel and airfare, whether you're a player or a spectator. Don't forget to check out all the live coverage on our YouTube and Twitch channel of the top cuts of these events for every week. And subscribe so you can get notified where to watch the Late Night Events Invitational brought to you by the Shuffle Squad. Now get out there and start winning. We'll see you in Japan.